All right, summer, it's over. For the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District, thousands of students back in class this morning. CBS 2's Cara Fincham with the first look at the first day back. Cara, how, how's it been today? Was it a good first day? You know, it really was. This is where those students made their way onto campus uh, just behind us here this morning for the brand new school year. And just outside the gates here this morning, we captured a touching first day moment between a father and son. It's the last first day for Gabriel Aguiar and his dad. Every year when I, when I have him, I bring him to school on his first day, take his picture. So I try to make a little album for him. What are you most excited about? Wrestling. Uh, I'm going to try and be on wrestling team. The high school senior is one of more than 9,200 students returning to Santa Monica Malibu Unified and what appears to be one of a minority coming back in mass. I've got a lot of older people in my family, so I'm going to wear it regardless. No mask required. I'm excited <laughs> so they can talk, they can find their friends maybe. This mom dropping off her junior was relieved to learn both mask wearing and COVID testing are going from required to strongly recommended this year. The district is giving students and staff weekly take home antigen tests, which are optional, but encouraged. The pandemic has also left the district looking for bus drivers. Nationwide bus driver shortages started when more staff retired over COVID worries. This district says it needs to hire four more. Gabriel and his dad say their biggest challenge will be getting back on track with a college plan. I told him you might not like me, you know, like me too much this year because I'm going to be on you a lot more. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in hoping for like the best that I can do. And we wish Gabriel all the best. Chris, I did hear back from the district uh, on those bus driver shortages. Uh, they say here in this district, they have 17 of the 21 drivers that they need. They say they are looking for the remaining four. Uh, and that at this point, they have plenty of capacity on their buses, but they really want those extra bus drivers so they can do things like field trips uh, and special activities for the kids. Yeah.